it's 12.53 a.m. and I'm super tired. But Gracie Abrams released a new song at midnight, so I'm happy. <laughs> Today I'm going to film a what I did to reset for 2023 video or what I did to prep for 2023. I don't know. I feel like this video is kind of late because I feel like everyone posted this kind of video like January 1st or the first week. I kind of like that it's a little late though because I feel like this is when people start to lack motivation, you know what I mean? At least I do. Especially since I've been sick the first two weeks of 2023. I feel like it's nice to have a video that's so recent when you need the motivation. Like, at the exact time you need the motivation. So, therefore, I thought I would show you everything that I did to prep or reset or whatever you want to call it for 2023. And also, this is going to be the best year. Ever. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the digital stuff, like my phone, my laptop, everything. First, I clean out my camera wall, and I'm not completely finished with this because I really want to divide stuff into folders, and you know what I mean. But it takes a long time because I've iCloud and Google Photos, and both of them are full. So I'm going to try to clean out my camera roll a little bit more so that I can have more space. Yeah. Then I deleted apps that I don't use. And I think this is really important. If you feel like there's certain apps that you, not only if you don't use them, but that you feel gives you not good vibes. You know what I mean? <laughs> or apps that you feel like everyone else has but you just don't like it for example with me i don't like snapchat at all and that's the one app that everyone uses to communicate and everything but i just decided i actually did this last january too i deleted snapchat and then i downloaded snapchat again i think it was i think i remember the exact date it was the 17th of june 2022 i thought okay it's such an easy way to communicate i should just download it again and then i did that and for the i think the first three days i felt sick when i was opening my phone and i saw that app and that's like that sh <laughs> that's that's a red flag i should have thought that you should delete this app forever and never download it again but I didn't. I kept it and then I started a new school and I was like, okay, I kind of want to delete it, but I don't think I'm going to because I need to get to know people and it's hard to get to know people when you don't have Snap. You know what I mean? Because it's basically the only thing people use to communicate. And then I was like, okay, I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to wait. And then I was like, okay, I know everyone well enough. And I hate this app so much and it gives me the worst vibes ever. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I'm deleting this app again because I hate Snapchat and I'm never going to d download it again because every time someone talks about the app, it's so weird because it's an app and everyone loves Snapchat. My sister loves it. My friends love it. Everyone loves it and I hate it. It's not for me at all. And deleting Snapchat I think it was a really important decision and a really good decision for me going into 2023 because of the fact that I've never really liked the app. And I really really like not having it. I I love not having it. So, that's that. And then I deleted some other apps that I just don't use. And then making new wallpapers I think is really important because it gives you that little every time you open your phone or your computer or whatever your iPad I don't know you get that little ooh 
I have a new wallpaper. It's fresh. It's new. You know what I mean? Kind of gives oh new start vibes. I love it every time I change my wallpaper, and it's been I've had the same wallpaper for a long time because I feel like it's it's there's always a hint of something new. You know what I mean? And I like that. So I changed my wallpaper. Right now I have I can show you actually. It's actually a picture from a video uh, that I saw on Instagram. And it's just, it says, you're getting distracted again. And then it's just some plants. And I like it. But I think I'm going to change it soon. But I like it. And then I organized my laptop and like pictures and files and documents, etc, etc. For me, when it's messy, when my room is messy, when my laptop isn't organized, when my books are all over the place, when, you know what I mean, when my phone is full or whatever, it's so annoying and it's so stressful. So it helps a lot with everything when you just clean out your phone, your room, your closet, whatever. Helps with staying calm, helps with studying, helps with concentration. So I really like that and I did that to my phone, my room, and my laptop. The last digital thing that I did was I kind of organized my social media. Like I unfollowed people that aren't my vibe anymore, you know what I mean? When I scroll on TikTok or on Insta or something like that and I see someone that I feel like, okay, this is not my vibe anymore, I'll just unfollow right there and then. And also just I'm going through uh, highlights on Instagram and stuff and TikTok and going through my drafts and everything and deleting stuff. And Now on to the physical stuff that I did for 2023. The first thing I did was make a physical mood board, which you can see behind me. So I just found some pictures on Pinterest. I was scrolling through Pinterest and I was just searching for my goals basically. So I I searched for music or uh, the musician lifestyle, I guess. Like being in the studio and stuff like that. Playing instruments, singing in front of a crowd, being on stage. I searched for those kind of pictures. And then I searched for Scandinavian summer vibes and just Scandinavian girl vibes, Matilda Jerf, you know what I mean? That kind of vibe. And then I searched for a YouTuber aesthetic, I think. YouTuber aesthetic. Yeah, I think that was what I searched for. And then I searched for some of my smaller hobbies, like sewing and painting eh, and stuff like that. And then I searched for iPad and Apple Pen that kind of aesthetic. I don't know if that's even an aesthetic, but you know what I mean. I searched for that because I really, really want to buy an iPad and an Apple Pen in 2023. And then I searched for some food, like healthy food aesthetic, cooking aesthetic, because I really want to learn some new recipes this year. So basically, I just searched for some of my goals and the things I am looking forward to this year and stuff that I want to do and what I want my 2023 to look like, basically. So I'm going to show you what it ended up looking, looking like. Okay, so this is what my mood board ended up looking like. Uh, just ignore the stuff. It's just... Those are some of the wall decor. I think I've shown it in a different video, but I make little fan wall decor stuff. So that's 
that's something else but this is my mood board it's just right over my bed ignore the mess that I'm sitting on my setup for this video but this video is very much inspired by Fernanda Ramirez by the way so if you haven't watched her video like how to make 2023 your best year yet I think it's called go and watch that right now in the middle I put this picture of a girl uh, that I think or I'm telling myself that she's meditating and then I cut out this is also an idea I got for from Fernanda's video I cut out numbers from magazines and they say 2023 and then I have some pictures of green juice which I've been making a lot of recently and it's so good and I have some pictures of the gym recording I think that's Madison beer actually and some quotes here and there the sea food <laughs> um, and Actually, I can't. I have a lot of like girl boss quotes. I feel like I have some pictures of this is Taylor smiling, one of my favorite pictures of Taylor. And Harry, food aesthetic again, she is intelligent. Um, books, some outdoor walk aesthetic, Gracie Abrams. This is my year of dreams coming true. Um, Book aesthetic, journal aesthetic, YouTube aesthetic, more YouTube aesthetic up here actually, uh, more music aesthetic. <laughs> I really want to learn how to make sushi, so that's why I have that picture. And then more food reading quotes. And then I have this picture of Nile uh, playing a festival, and I think it was 2019 in Mexico? If I'm not completely wrong, I could be wrong. Okay, I could be wrong. But it's now playing a festival and I think Louie was there too, but the reason I have this picture is because I'm actually seeing Nile at a festival this summer, Star and Festival in Norway, and I'm super excited because he's my favorite person in the whole entire world. And I can't wait. It's going to be the best day of my life. <laughs> so that's why I have that. And then watch me manifest everything I want because we're girl bossing this year, okay? <laughs> that's the vibe. And I have this picture of a girl. And I love this picture, by the way. Walking outdoors in the woods. And I just really like that picture. Because I really want to be more in nature, I guess. And walk outdoors more. And I have, as I said, a uh, Apple Pen, iPad, music, food, studying. And then I have a picture of Matilda Giraffe and her dog reading, which I think is super cute. And then I have a picture of Gracie Abrams and Sadie Sink, which is literally the cutest picture ever. Or the cutest picture. The, I don't know. Pictures? I don't know. And I have Selena and Taylor because I want a friendship like theirs, okay? It's just basically a lot of pictures that represent my goals, I guess. And I'm so proud of this mood board. I think it's gorgeous. And I love it so freaking much. I spent, I think... Three and a half hours making this, so I'm really proud of it. So that was my mood board, and I'm so proud of it, as I said, and I really love it. If you know what you want your year to look like, I highly recommend you to make a physical mood board and hang it somewhere where you see it all the time. I chose over my bed because I sleep this way, so I see it all the time. Go and make your mood board if you haven't right now. This next thing is actually I my inspiration for this was Kendall Jenner because she said in an interview, I don't know which interview at all, but she said that her therapist told her to find a baby picture of herself and 
put it on her mirror so that every time she gets ready or when she wakes up in the morning and everything she'll always see that picture and she just won't be able to talk badly about herself because she feels like she's disappointing or talking badly about that little girl so i did that and i took a picture i put it on my mirror and it's me as a kid and then i did something else as well i put little affirmations under it so that i'm literally forcing myself to say good things about myself every morning because they're there and they're written and they're literally just waiting to be said out loud, you know what I mean? So I did that and I'm gonna show you. Here's the little picture of baby me. I chose this picture because I I have other pictures that I could have used, but I chose this picture because it seems like I have a lot of energy in it and that's very much me. And I thought it was cute. So and then under it I have some affirmations and it just says I'm gorgeous, I'm kind, I'm talented, my dreams are coming true, I'm loved, I'm strong. Another thing that I did was make workout plans because I uh, work out four times a week and I've been doing that since I think October. I did it a bit in the start of 2022 and then I completely stopped and then I started again in October and I'm really enjoying it actually. And I love it when I actually start enjoying going to the gym. I feel like that's a good sign. So I made workout plans because I work out Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. So I made workout plans for all of those days. Monday is full body and that's alone. And then Tuesday is arms and back. And that's with my friend, Celia, which if you have seen the Cut Bear concert vlog or the eventful day in my life vlog uh, you should go and watch that by the way uh, she's in that and we were actually working out together in that video Tuesday is arms and back with Celia and then Thursday is that was actually today Thursday is abs and legs with Celia and then Sundays are either alone or with Celia and that's cardio I made these cute little things one for each day and I'm really happy about it and I've now been able to try all of them and I am seeing that I have to change them a little bit but that's just good because then I know like what I like and what's working and you know what I mean so then after making my workout plans I fixed up my routines and that was needed because I had not fixed them since I think 2021 so first I did my morning routine and then my night routine before I fixed my morning routine it looked like this and when I changed it it now looks like this and my night routine used to look like this and it now looks like this so but I can tell you a little bit about my morning routine first. I wake up at 6 a.m. every day besides Saturday and Sunday. Not waking up early on the weekends. I wake up at 6 a.m. every weekday and then I make my bed. I always make my bed no matter what. And then after I've made my bed, I go upstairs in the clothes that I've slept in because I need to sleep with clothes. If not, I'm not getting out of bed. <laughs> Never. Because I'm gonna be too cold to get out of bed and then I'm gonna sleep in and then I'm gonna be late for school and everything, so. Important. But then I go upstairs, eat breakfast, and take my vitamins. I don't even think it's vitamins. It's omega-3. It's like fish oil. <laughs> if you're in Norwegian, you, you know, ta not good, but it's good for your health, I guess. Immune system, maybe? I don't know. But I take Tron. And then after I've eaten breakfast, I go downstairs and I do my skincare and my hair care. Or not, mm, I don't do a lot of hair care in the morning, but I just fix my hair. And then I brush my teeth and I go into my... My camera got full. I have to 
clean out my camera too. Uh, but after I do my skincare and stuff, I brush my teeth and then I go to my room and get dressed and then I usually put on some mascara. It says makeup, but I never do my makeup. And then after, if I have time, I journal and I read. And I try to make time for journaling every morning because I have to journal to know that I've made my day better, that I've focused on the good things. And I'm later in the video, I'm going to show you how I journal and stuff. So. And then I leave at 7.35, but sometimes 7.30 or 7.40. <laughs> Somewhere between 7.30 and 7.40. And then my night routine, I start with fixing or fill my water bottle um, between 9 and 10 p.m. And then I prepare my school bag for the next day, my clothes or my outfit for the next day, and then I prepare my lunch for the next day. And then I do skin and hair care. But again, don't do a lot with my hair. I brush it. And then I meditate, and then I read, and then I sleep. Not much, but that's what my night routine looks like. Now, the, the last part of this video is going to be about journaling, and I'm going to talk a little bit about how I journal and, you know, stuff like that. So, what I've written and my journal. By the way, I got a new journal and I think it's so pretty. So I've just written 2023 my year and then staying honest with myself because staying true to myself and being honest with myself is really important to me this year. And then I've made like a little thing. It's just what I want to focus on. I have eat the rainbow, consistent workout routine, like have a consistent workout routine money control slash follow a budget and then youtube stop procrastinating slash prioritize more and my mind and then i have my new year's resolutions i wrote them like i want to do this thing instead of i'm going to or stuff like that i don't know why i just felt like it was better but i wrote i want to read 17 books i want to stay consistent and that's like with my workouts, journaling, healthy habits, everything. And then I want to learn because I really want to learn stuff this year. And then I'm not going to tell you about this page yet, but because I have a page that's connected to this one, I guess, what I want to focus on, but in depth or in detail or whatever you want to call it, eat the rainbow. And I've written eat lots of different foods, learn new recipes, eat more Pinterest-worthy pretty foods. So, when I say eat the rainbow, I feel like a lot of people are going to say, oh, eating healthy or eat lots of fruits and stuff. And yeah, that's a part of it. But also, like, eat Pinterest-worthy, and that could be a cake. But I want to make my food look good and make my food look appetizing. Do you understand what I mean? Like, it doesn't have to always be super healthy. It could be eating a big-ass cake, but it looking pretty. And I want to eat different colored foods. And then, consistent workout routine. I've written, follow workout plans, be confident in the gym, and try different types of workouts. I just want to learn about, like, working out and my body and how it works and building muscles and... And I really, really want to, like, feel like I belong in the gym and not feel like I'm this little kid who doesn't know anything and just walking around like, Hi, I'm sorry I'm bothering you. That's a big focus or goal of mine. And then, prioritize, just stop procrastinating. And I really want to work on that. Money control, I want to follow a budget, as I said earlier and say save up for bigger purchases and buy less food because <laughs> I buy way too much food and I wanted to talk about those bigger purchases actually some of the things that I've written that I want to save money for are iPad plus Apple Pen which I've literally been talking about this whole video 
uh, and I want to buy Converse. I want to buy Caseify cases for me and my sister. I want to uh, buy white running shoes. I want to buy a mic for this camera and uh, I want to buy concert tickets and I want to travel. Me and my friend were talking about uh, traveling to different countries to see Gracie Abrams. So I really, really want to do that uh, when she announces, or if she announces a Europe tour. I really want to do that. And also, I didn't write it, but I'm going to get a job. And then I wrote my mind, and this is focused on meditation, manifestation, and self-love. And also, like, more like control over my own mind and my myself, like, with, like, anxiety and uh, mental health and stuff like that. It's really important to me, and I want to grow like that. I want to grow and, like, figure out what I can do to make it better. And then YouTube. I want to post more. I want to plan more. I want to plan my videos more. And I actually have a video planner and notion that I'm working on. And I want to be more confident with my YouTube channel. And I feel like that's already happening <laughs> right now. So I'm happy with that because uh, if you have, if you watched my first YouTube video, you know that I actually did YouTube three years ago or four years ago now, but I stopped because I wasn't confident and I was scared of opinions, but I'm not anymore and I'm really happy with that. Now it's me even more confident with doing YouTube. I actually love doing YouTube so much, you don't even know. It's so fun. And then back to this page, I have my daily journaling plan and then my monthly journaling plan. So, so I have daily goals slash focus, like what, what I want to focus on that day. And then I have daily manifestations, daily affirmations, daily gratitude, and daily quotes. So I'm going to show you what that could look like. And then for monthly, I have... I couldn't really show you what this looks like for monthly because it hasn't been a whole month of 2023 yet but I'll show you what I did for January <laughs> three or one to three monthly goals slash focus uh, and monthly reading speed because I really want to see how my reading changes and monthly YouTube subscribers videos plans for the next month yeah a monthly book wrap up which books I read what I rate them, how many pages it was, which all through, you know what I mean. And I also have that kind of thing on Notion. And then monthly highlights, like favorite moments from the month. So I'll uh, give you an example. This is my January journal thing at the moment. This is not what it's going to look like when February comes around, but this is what it looks like right now. So goals for this month is finish reminders of him currently reading if you haven't seen my last video my book video go and watch that i'm actually really really proud of that video so and then uh, i want to focus on mindfulness and i want to build structure and healthy habits and that's like i don't want to have structure and healthy habits right now but i want to build and i want to get there you know what i mean and then my reading speed is one normal full page. I use 10 minutes and 10 seconds to read that. And then I have my YouTube part, and it just says videos I want to post. My 2023 TBR, I've already posted that, so go and watch it. And then this video, 2023 Reset. And then Productive Days in My Life. And I have 73 <laughs> subscribers at the moment. And then uh, my focus for YouTube is give zero fucks about opinions. So this is an example of my daily journaling. This was Monday. So I write the day and then the date and like inside of the day. I don't know. You can see what I did. Yeah. 
And then the goal for Monday was to smile more and then my manifestations. And if you don't know what manifestations are, manifestations, you're basically writing or saying or whatever, thinking uh, of something of something you want to happen like it's already happening. So that's why I'm writing it as I am and I have, you know what I mean? Yeah. And then my affirmations and my gratitude. And then quote of the day was, the little progress you've made today still matters. Which is true. And that was my journaling for this year. And so basically that that was everything that I did to prep or reset for 2023. And I hope you liked this video. I don't know if it was a little bit chaotic, maybe, if I talked a little too much. Uh, but I've been filming for uh, one half hour and it's... Uh, I need to wake up in four hours. <laughs> okay. Mm. But I hope you love this video. I loved filming it, to be honest. It's been taking days. But I'm really happy about it. If you did, subscribe and um, click the notification bell so that you get notified when I post. And uh, I don't know if I said it, but my posting schedule, I'm going to try to post every two weeks. And then when I'm on summer break, it's going to be every week. And uh, I'm really, really, really excited for 2023. Ah! I'm so excited. So excited. I feel like... I, I have a really, really good feeling about this year. I think it's going to be a great year. So, Happy New Year to everyone. If you watch this video, I love you. And uh, you're the best for taking the time to sit down and watch my video. That's really nice. I hope you liked the video. And I hope you found, found it interesting. And I'm so excited to edit this video. I'm gonna go to sleep now. Good night and bye. Thank you for watching. I love you.